Welcome to the new world of connecting any MCU to the internet. Now that you have purchased the Texas Instruments Simple Link Wi-Fi Booster Pack bundle, let's get started with the CC3100's Direct Connection Mode, also known as Access Point Mode. The CC3100 Booster Pack is paired with the Advanced Emulation Booster Pack to enable flashing, RF performance evaluation, and MCU software development on a PC. For microcontroller development, the CC3100 Booster Pack can work directly on multiple TI MCU Launchpad evaluation kits. To begin, line up the white triangles on the boards to connect the CC3100 Booster Pack and the Emulation Booster Pack. Be sure the jumpers on the CC3100 Booster Pack look like this. To power the bundle, connect the provided USB plug into the USB socket on the right-hand side of the Emulation Booster Pack. To start access point mode, hold down switch 1, marked SW1. While holding down switch 1, press and release switch 3, marked SW3. Now release switch 1. The CC3100 is now in access point mode and is ready to connect to your device. Now grab a computer, tablet, or smartphone. For this demo, we'll use an Android phone. To connect your device to the CC3100, Navigate to the device's Wi-Fi settings menu and choose the access point that starts with My Simple Link and connect to it. No password is needed. Once connected, open the browser and type in http colon slash slash mysimplelink.net. Note the address must include the http colon slash slash in order to see this site. Congratulations! You've connected to the tiny web server powered by the CC3100. Take some time to explore all of the tabs and get to know your new device. TI Smart Config Technology, also known as Network Connection Mode, is one of several options TI offers to connect the CC3100 to the Internet. We have shown the CC3100 acting as the access point. Now let's tell it to connect to the Internet through your access point. To try this method, download the SimpleLink Wi-Fi Starter app at ti.com slash tool slash Wi-Fi starter. First, tap the reset button of the CC3100 booster pack. After the app is installed, open the app on your mobile device. Select the bottom Smart Config Technology button and you will be prompted for the password of the access point in which your iOS or Android mobile device is currently connected. You can list a device name for discovery right below the password. Then select Start. Success! The CC3100 is now connected to the internet via your access point. Remember there are multiple options to connect to the internet. See those other options at ti.com slash simple link Wi-Fi. Now, select the Devices tab at the bottom of the app and select the recently added device by the name you gave it, or you will see a screen like this starting with the CC3100 MAC address. The mobile device automatically launches your browser to view the same tiny web server as in access point mode, this time viewing it through your access point. To start developing today, download SimpleLink Studio with the CC3100 SDK or Software Development Kit from ti.com slash tool slash CC3100 SDK. This software allows your PC to act like the MCU for initial development. To get the environment up and running with SimpleLink Studio, start on Project Zero at ti.com slash CC3100 Project Zero. The CC3100 can connect to multiple MCUs. For example, the CC3100 SDK offers multiple sample applications for TI's MSP430 F5529 family. The F5529 Launchpad is sold separately. For more information about the CC3100, visit ti.com slash Wi-Fi. Connect more with SimpleLink Wi-Fi solutions. What will you connect?